this video aims to show you how you can report by user or session registrar in this instance by using the export of the attendance report. So first off, on your Upshot account, go to reports and attendance, download the relevant data. So it might be that I just want to look at my sport project, for instance, you might want to be more specific, pick a certain time range, for example. Crucially, make sure you tick this box to download as a database table and click download. The report will be generated in Excel. Before you do anything else, the first step is to save this as an Excel workbook. It comes out as a CSV normally, so you want to make sure you save it as an Excel workbook. So to do this, click File, Save As, give the file a name, make sure you change this bit to an Excel workbook at the top here, dot XLX x and click save now we want to create what's known as a pivot table so click anywhere inside your table of data so any cell lower down click insert pivot table this dialog box will come up as you can see it's highlighted all my table of data which is great where do I want the pivot table to be placed? Will that be in a new worksheet? That'll be far easier for me to work with. Crucially, I just want to make sure I tick this box that says add this data to the data model and say OK. This generates the following. So it gives me a new tab. I've got my pivot table on the left hand side and I've got my available pivot table fields, which are actually just the columns from that downloaded report on the right. I need to now choose which columns and values I'm interested in. So here you can see the range. There's all those different things, project, activity type, activity group, etc. Well, we're interested in session registrar. So we select that first off, we click and drag it and we put it under rows. So what you'll see now on the left hand side is any of my session registrars, any of those people that have been delivering sessions in my sports project. Now I might see one of a few want to see one of a few things here, one of which may be the amount of unique attendees that each of these people has worked with in their sessions. Well, to do this, for this example, I would pick attendee ID and put that under values. Now what you'll notice first off is it brings up a sum of attendee IDs. So every participant on my Upshot account has a unique attendee ID. And what it's doing there is rather than counting like the distinct amount of them, it's summing up all their attendee IDs, which isn't really what I want here. What I can now do is under this values bit on the right hand side, instead of saying sum of attendee ID, I can click on this little arrow and click on value field settings. Here I can choose what it's actually calculating from that attendee ID field. I just want distinct count. I select OK. Here we can now see that it's telling me that Anthony Adams, for example, on the sessions he's delivered, has worked with 21 different people. Chris has worked with three, 33, sorry. If I want to bring in more information here, I can. So for example, if I want to look at the amount of sessions that these individuals have run, I'd use session ID. Again, it's doing that sum first of all. I can click on that arrow, change it to value field settings, and change that to distinct count there. I can also rename this. So if that's not going to be very clear, I could say amount of sessions run and click OK. We can see here that Anthony's only run five sessions and Chris has run 11. There are many more things you can do with this. You can, for instance, again, under value field settings, change to show the values as maybe a percentage instead. So essentially the column total, I click OK. It shows here that Paul's run nearly 94% of sessions, where Anthony's just run under 2%. I could also add more elements in terms of the values, columns, rows, or filters to break this down even further. I could also turn this into graphs and charts.